Welcome everyone, here is how you use the gesture navigation in the iPad 10th generation. So first of all, if I open up an app like this, you're going to notice we have this bar, it's either going to be black or white, and in order to go home, what we need to do is we need to flick up and then release our finger once the flick motion is done. So I'm going to do like this, flick up and release, and you can see it takes me home just like that. So I'm flicking up to the left hand side, but you know you can flick up to the right hand side. You can flick straight up. As long as after you finish the flick motion, you don't hold on the screen and you release your finger, that will take you home. Now, when we go home, this application right here is actually running in the background. So you may want to close out of, uh, you know, applications which are in multitasking. And in order to access the multitasking view, we're going, to do the, uh, we're going to do the same motion to go home, which is flick up. But we're not going to release immediately. We're going to hold our finger on the screen for about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds, and then we're going to release. So flick up, hold, release, and that will bring us into the multitasking. So I'm going to open up another app. Let's say the reminders to go home, flick up, release, same motion. But for multitasking, flick up, hold, okay, holding the finger. And I didn't do enough there, so I'm gonna try again. Flick up, hold, and then release, right? So it will take a little bit of time to get used to, right? But eventually, you can go to multitasking very quickly and seamlessly, right? You can see very fast, and then when I wanna go home, boom, going home. Now, let's go back into the multitasking. If you want to close out of an app which is running in the iPad background, you see where the app preview is. You just flick up and release with your finger, flick up release, and that will close out the application. When there are no apps in the background, if you try to go to multitasking, you can see the software won't allow you. Now I'm going to open up multiple applications here so I can demo this feature. So right now I'm in the settings. And let's say I want to switch to a different application. You may be going home, then tapping on the app, but there is a faster way. Where this bar is, okay, black or white, if you flick with your finger to the left, it will bring you to the previous app. Uh, to the right even, it will bring you to the previous app. If you flick to the left, it will bring you to the next app. So I'm going to flick like this and release when you've done. So I'm flicking to the right, boom. And you can see I'm brought to the previous app, which is opened. Reminders. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm now brought to the settings. Now to go to the next app, flick to left. Okay. So you can see, boom, like that. If you flick to the left and it's not allowing you, that means you're on the furthest app. All right. So there's no more apps to switch to. So then we flick to the right. Boom. See no more apps to switch to, and then I flick to the left, just like this. On top of this, we do have the dock. So we're doing the flick and release motion, but if you slide up, and you don't slide up too much, and then you release your finger, we now have the dock. Inside of the dock, you can have the three most recent apps you opened, and then applications you place manually. Now with that dock, you can long press on an app and drag and then drop it to the side. And as long as the app supports it, you will start a split screen. The settings app does not support split screen. So I'm going to tap on Safari to open it up. I'm now going to repeat that split screen. I'm gonna drag and drop and boom, we are now brought to the split screen. Where that bar is, you can drag it to change the size of each app okay it's like this if you slide fully to the left you'll close out the left app if you slide fully to the right you'll close out the right app now by default you can only have two apps in the split screen but if we access the dock again slide up but not too much and when we see the dock we release we can then drag and drop a third app and as long as you drop it in the middle, you can see 
we now have three applications open at once. Where the triple dots are, you can move these applications around just like this. You will also notice there are triple dots here. If you tap on those, you can close out the app, force it into full screen, or if you tap on slide over, it's going to show in this pop-out view like this. If you place multiple apps in this pop-out view, you see where that bar is. If you flick up, hold, release, you can see we can switch between the apps which are in this view. If you want to remove this application, you can tap on the triple dots and close, option one, or you can just slide to the far right, and boom, you can see the application is now hidden. You also may be wondering about the back button. There is no back button available uh, on the iPad. So you will need to just tap on the back. But in some cases, let's see, it won't allow me here. If I go to the Safari browser and go to a website, in some cases, it will allow you to go back by sliding from the far left like that. Right now it's not working, so I'm gonna to go to a website. I'm gonna do some searches, go into like this. And once I'm on the website, it's gonna load. Got a couple of seconds there. In order to go back, slide from the far left, just like that. You can see in that case, it's taking me to the previous page. And if you swipe from the far right, it's now gonna reverse the the undo right so this thing's showing up which is annoying so we have undo here now going back and then going forward again that will not work in all applications uh, on the iPhone it works in more apps but for the most part you will need to just tap on a physical back button you see right here but you can also do the slide back in some cases as well with that being said thanks for watching if you want to help support me and you want to buy something from Amazon, maybe iPad 10th generation accessories. If you use my Amazon affiliate link in the, in the description, I'll get a commission. Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.